You know what we have to bring up is uh, the the Melissa R Rivers thing. <laughs> she um, seems marital troubles there. No. Yeah. No. Can you believe it? She married this uh, millionaire. Uh, what's he? A horse trainer or something? Yeah, he's something. He's something. A lot of money. Something with a lot Just of money. because he rides her doesn't make him a horse <laughs> trainer. Well, yeah. <laughs> I know with that. He Big, long. He thoroughbred face <laughs> she's got. Well, she. Uh, so now it seems that they're in uh, marriage counseling. This, according to Cindy Adams, she knows everything. She's out and about in New York. That woman knows everything. I saw her once. Um, actually, we were. Uh, was it my, I guess my mother and grandmother were going to a Broadway show. So I, I, I uh, got them lunch at Tavern on the Green, so they could go to the Tavern on the Green <laughs> in Central Park. Smart. First. What? It's you're mom and grandma. A, you're not a tavern on the green type of guy, though. I stopped in and sat there to have a little lunch with my mommy and my grandma. Why didn't you meet your agent at Sardi's? A little early. At Sardi's, <laughs> I was meeting my agent. I was at 21. You did Nello's? Yeah, that's where I was. Yeah. <laughs> you you to come up for some nice lunch before the show. Tavern before on the, the green? Matinee. Yeah. Carnegie Deli. It's like a nice place. Uh, a sandwich. Anyway, Cindy Adams is sitting, um... Go to Planet Hollywood. Planet, <laughs> Hollywood, Planet Hollywood type of guy. Still open? <laughs> <laughs> and Cindy Adams is sitting there holding court, pretty much. She, she sits there, uh, and she's at, like, the head of the table, and she's got Minion, Minion, that just sit there and, and blab, I guess, to her. And she has actually a little uh, pad. And she's writing down who's coming, who's going, what they're doing. I guess that's how she gets her info. How does a lady like that have any friends? But do you want to hang out with her? You know what? There are certain people that could do anything and she'll write good about. And those are her friends. The other people are just, you know. If you die them on your friends, then she'll write something good about you. There you go. See? So they have sources. She has her sources. Right, sources. So she found out, I guess, that uh, Melissa Rivers, Joan Rivers' daughter, having marital problems. And um, uh, she was recently on, on some y private yacht yachting event. Some yacht time with uh, with Joan Rivers, uh, without the son-in-law. Said it was a private yachting with uh, her mother Joan. Very private. It seems the son-in-law wasn't invited. That's how <laughs> she, she words it. She words it like very private. You see this scumbag not invited. So and they're going to a marriage counselor. Uh -huh. And all I could, um, I just got to sympathize with this poor guy. That's married to this Melissa Rivers, because could you imagine that that a mother-in-law being being that that Joan Rivers, a woman that pretty much I'm sorry drove her husband to kill himself. Edgar, Edgar, I'm sitting shiver for my Edgar. Wow. <laughs> and, and then now now she's your mother-in-law. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, and she looks like one of those mother-in-laws that would just get involved in every facet of 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 the marriage uh, uh, that you have to the uh, to the daughter, because she's always hey, Melissa. Every time I'm on TV, I have to have Melissa with me. I have to mention Melissa. Like it's just always there. You're doing it wrong. Get off of her like that. <laughs> You're pumping all wrong. You just picture right there in the, in the sack. Uh, Melissa, you don't have to put that in your mouth. I never did that. Edgar. <laughs> don't, uh, don't buckle on that. You're Melissa Rivers. You don't have to put that in your mouth. You know where it's been. Uh, 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 box of wine. Three rice bagel left. <laughs> <laughs> don't. don't. Uh, uh, son in law, could you over Christmas vacation please hang a garage door opener for me? Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm living my own hell <laughs> yeah, here now. Yeah, yeah. I just know she seemed like that snooty type of. to bail out now. It's only three years in. The guy's a multimillionaire. You know that she's, he's just going to get raped. He's uh, he's renting Edgar's old suite in Philly, <laughs> that hotel, with the two and alls and the tiny little <laughs> the hotel tiny whiskey. Little nips, <laughs> a little whiskey nips. He had them all lined up. <laughs> oh God, he thought real hard about it. Life <laughs> or Joan? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I like Joan Rivers. I, oh, stop it. I, I, wait, 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 wait. Stop it. Where's I, the joke? No joke. I always liked her growing up. I always liked Joan Rivers. I really did. I'm not kidding. I mean, if I hated her, believe me, I'd bleck her. But <laughs> I, Why do you like Joan Rivers? Seriously. I always... Because she's, the guess she's the, funny? Yeah. I mean, she's oh, the guest host of oh, The Tonight boy. Show. And, oh, know, wow. Like, Just when... Wow, look at I this. I think I know Norton. He takes this turn. I liked her. Uh, uh, 
Come on, where's the with cancer? <laughs> no, no, something. I, I grew up watching. I'm a big and Carson he, fan. What so about I'm... the bucket of AIDS in the face? Nothing. <laughs> not for her. No, no. 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 Uh, Cindy Adams. Uh, yeah, not her. I ain't been asking the death of my dog Spike. <laughs> Oh, with a dog. What, you, you know, that wish, whole attitude I was, is completely against anything I You don't wish you the would. kneecap cancer on her? Not on Jonah. No, 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 I always... There's uh, very few women I find that funny. I found her, Cal Burnett. There's a very few that I really enjoy. Wow. There are two of them. Cal Burnett. I don't know how I got her. Cal Burnett. Burnett. I adore Cal Burnett. She's hilarious. You like the skit where she came down with the curtains as the... The dress. Look, Carol Burnett, any woman that's not afraid to not be hot is, is the ones who are going to be funny. That's why Roseanne used to be funny. When she started to, like, you know, she wants guys to don't want to ever say she was hot. Jim, we don't need female listeners this bad. No, no, right. no. Go back to what you said. Oh, oh, okay. I get it, Jim. Nudge, nudge. Look, look, no, no, no. <laughs> are you look, softening your delivery? Look, every any woman that's not listening should be, uh, have her, be raped and have her arms cut <laughs> off and thrown in the ditch. <laughs> oh, Bye-bye, ladies. <laughs> Hey, no. you're going to get eight years for that. <laughs> yeah, uh. <laughs> Norton's Way been too booked. Much time. Norton's been booked in one of those ladies take back the night comedy festival. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> He's the, he'll be plugging that in a week. We what? call him the unt. <laughs> you know what we call those shows? The unts of comedy. <laughs> when, when was Roseanne <laughs> funny? Her first special was she was wearing a house dress and she was miserable. That she was, was the, the, the um, was great. young comedian special she did that Rodney life. brought her on. No, the first time I ever saw it, and it was the same yeah. one uh, uh, Kinnison was on. Right. And she was funny on that. And she did her own special, which was I'll great. I'll give her too. that. I'm saying, then she tried to look hot and lose weight and get the tattoo, and nobody wanted to and look at her And when was anymore. Carol Burnett Tom on? Arnold. Carol Burnett was great. Uh, all yeah. the great sketches. I love Carol Burnett. Sketches. How about Phyllis Diller? I don't, I'm not familiar with ah. their work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Fang told me. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, you're kind of digging up. What about Lucille Ball? You know what? You like the Lucy? Just talking about her last night. I respect I like her. Lucille. I like the early black and I white like Lucy. Lucy from uh, I Love Lucy. The other one, Miss Carmichael. Oh, Miss yes. Carmichael. Dunk. I didn't like that. Well, I like the one where her husband used to lock her in her own house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what an abuse show. You're not going to the club. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy. No. You could just tell he was beating the crap yeah, out of her. Yeah, he was, too. Uh, we just saw a clip um, of uh, one of the Lucys where she had the big headdress thing on, and she wanted to be the lead in the dance number when they went out to Hollywood, and she comes down the stairs and starts stumbling. She reached up to uh, straighten her headdress. You notice on her fo on her uh, bicep, there is a thumbprint black and blue that you know is just Desi grabbing her. <laughs> you effing bitch! I will kill you! I kill you! You do this right! Then he comes home late at night and does those Cuban lines off her ass and forgives her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's just banging every Hollywood yeah, star. He you want to uh, audition at Desi Lu Studios, you come in, baby. i show you the way. Don't worry about Lucy. We have an understanding. It's wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Lucy, you bitch. <laughs> I thought William Frawley was the funniest thing on I Love Lucy, man. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, old Bill Frawley with the pants up to his nipples. Just drunk all the time. You gotta be sauce. Ethel. Dealing with that, uh, Vivian Ethel. Vance. Vivian Vance. He hated her. <laughs> That's great. Hey, Rick! <laughs> She's quite the hot little number. <laughs> Tony, what's going on? You three is gonna do, Rick. Hey, how you guys doing, man? Happy New Year. Yeah, and you too, Tony. You know what? Every time I'm thinking that I can't get shocked anymore by your radio program, Norton will say something along the lines of, oh, I like Joan Rivers. <laughs> yeah, that's... Well, that's Mambo number no. 5 was a great tune. <laughs> I really do like that. Uh, it was that shock radio. I'm not trying to be different or like, hey, I'll throw the guys a curve. I'm not, I really do like it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jim Norton. Uh, thank you. You want to marry Melissa should... after she dumps this guy or he kills himself in a hotel room? Uh, uh, marry her, please. Uh, I hope he couldn't look so disgusted right now if, if Ron and Fez's producer had his mule out in his face. He <laughs> as disgusted as he looks at me right now. Well, you, you shocked us. You did. I wasn't uh, expecting that from you. What's your favorite thing Joan sells on QVC? What's yeah. your uh, favorite I bobble? Uh, I, 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 I have the bee. I have the little bee encrusted with semi precious gems that is available now. <laughs> Give me money for another facelift. Uh, and, and I'm not talking about the little. The I wear my ovaries stuff. as earrings now. <laughs> because I've had so many faceless. <laughs> I don't like the fashion show. I don't watch that crap. I just like the ripping on Liz Taylor for being a fat pig on national television. Nobody did that, and she was doing it on the Tonight Show, calling Liz Taylor a fat pig. Uh, he likes he likes Joan Rivers, and he enjoyed on Golden Pond. I thought it was brilliant. Wow.
Wow, brilliant. this is a new I Norton I'm seeing here. It wasn't about the yellow discipline. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> On Golden Palette, wrong film. Oh, I, I, got, I got lost. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that in the theaters, actually. I wanted to see a 3D Parasite movie, and my Jewish friends... Yeah. And his mom took me to see on Golden Pond, and I really liked it. 3D Parasite movie, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, whatever it was called. Tom, what's going on? Right. Hey, hey. Norton Lake Stone Rivers, it's official. He's all came out of the closet today. <laughs> no, no, well, Joan Rivers isn't gay. I mean, there's nothing gay about liking Joan Rivers. I don't watch the fashion stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Her entire following, gay guys. What do you hey, think? Anthony, you giddy. <laughs> <laughs> you giddy, Benison. Hey, how can you tell she had a black and blue when it was in black and white? <laughs> All right, it was a black and gray. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, 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 you two will listen. It's after today, we all know who discovered it. I don't enjoy it, don't we? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I have. Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Cool! All right, Jack, thank you. <laughs> a little reference for a New York if you're listening to uh, morning radio this morning. A lot, of, uh, a lot of things flying around today. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, Who do you think is going to win the Golden Hanger Award this year, uh, Jim? Jones does the Golden Hanger. for the best dressed. I, I, a couple of years back, it was uh, Jay Boa. <laughs> Jay Boa. What, he, I actually thought that was an abortion award until you just mentioned <laughs> the Golden <laughs> Hanger. I honestly don't know. I don't, I'm not familiar with the Golden Hanger, and I don't care. I'm not into fashion jokes and, oh, who's going to get the best dress? <laughs> oh, that's what she does now. I don't care. You like Ruth Buzzy? You like the girls from Sex and the City when they're chuckling? No, I've never seen Sex and the City. Never saw it. I could almost understand what you're saying about uh, you like like the, the old Carson things, things like that. Ugh. But but who like just for nostalgia alone? But you could have said the old Joan Rivers or the the Joan Rivers of years ago. You still enjoy her? I haven't watched anything she's done recently. I don't know. Turn on E. I'm on there at every award show. Yeah. Uh, don't watch. I don't know. Uh, okay. You know even TV. I don't watch it. But when she was calling Liz Taylor a fat pig, and Liz Taylor tried to sue her. That was great. Nobody would... And Liz Taylor is a fat pig with brain cancer. And it was great <laughs> that Joan Rivers was trashing her. You're like, um... You're like, like a, an Amish. You're like a chick. You're like oh. the Amish as far as technology goes. <laughs> you don't watch TV. He doesn't you go don't to movies. You know nothing about video games or computers or not... You, you're, you are an Amish gentleman. He has wooden toys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like the wooden train. Like toys like they had for uh, the kids on Little House on the Prairie. Paul would whittle him something out in the Saudi all year and then wrap it up for Christmas. He has a wooden condom. <laughs> so he really doesn't even have to be into it. Just right. say, yeah, here you go. Yeah, fud. <laughs> I, don't, I don't wear condoms, believe me. I don't care. <laughs> you don't care. What He's am I going to do? Catch AIDS twice? <laughs> 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 he's immune. Yeah, he tells me all the time. He's, he's immune. He's a carrier. Yeah. Michael cures that. You like the they Golden Girls, Jim? Someone's asking him. Yes, I did like that. Yes, I did. Oh, it was stop. funny. It was funny. So now favorite. I'm gonna. Now I'm totally calling you out that you're goofing. No, I'm not. No, well written show, very funny. Rue McClenahan yeah, and uh, B. Arthur was great in that, and Betty White played a great stop dummy. Stop it! Stop it! I love it. I really like the Golden Girls. I I don't know what that really show. Cool. Uh, how many? I, I, first of all, it disgusted me. These old crows talking about how they banged all night. Rue McClenahan comes down the stairs. Where were you last <laughs> night? Let me tell you. And then she makes some subtle, she was getting plowed until the sunrise joke. <laughs> and the image of Rue McClenahan with a wrinkled up varicose thighs in the air made me sick. But they were, again, there's certain things, like there was really sarcastic B. Arthur, there was a complete dummy and a slut. It and the worked. senile old uh, mother that, yeah. that you could see was looking five feet to the right of a camera reading her cue cards. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that awful? <laughs> she was horrid. But she was great, don't forget. It, it stopped oh, those scene right? Olaf jokes. Oh, God. Isn't that hysterical? They should have just looked at the camera and said, none of us have been moist since 64. <laughs> You're right. That would have been funny and true. I Couldn't get wet at Niagara Falls. <laughs> You want to host the Vagina Monologues, Jim? Is that what you're going for? Ah, a very funny show. I never I'm waiting it. for that to... No? no? No, I did like the... No, no, I don't like all that. I like the Golden Girl. I like... If I like it, I like it. I like it. Wow. True. Holy uber you fag. You never call us a fag again. Yes, uber I can. Fag. No, you can't. Yes, I can. That's more faggy than anything Ann and I have talked about it's, today. No, it's not. All right. It you, might be a little bit uh, 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 corny or older, but it's not necessarily mule and He now. was goofing on me for um, playing EverQuest online. Yeah. I didn't watch the Golden Girls for 12 hours. It was on for a half hour. Oh, if it was on, you would. I certainly you, would. You'd check out the marathon. <laughs>
Got to see if Rue's going to hook up with our date for the night. <laughs> Always some younger guy that you're looking at going, he would never be tooling this old broad. But, Ann, you, I, I've never even seen the show. Oh, I've seen the show. I swear, I've never checked it out. Actually, an old girlfriend loved the goddamn show. And I, I'd sit there, and this was before computers. You know, everyone had computers back in the Stone Age. And I'd sit there and, and have to just watch. And it was awful. I see a trend here, though. Golden Girls on Golden Pond. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Golden. I golden. Think Is that Golden Boy? Golden Goodness. Oh, yeah. A little <laughs> salty yellow loveliness just to, <laughs> just to warm your throat and teach you who's boss. Glenn agrees with you here. Glenn, what's up? Yeah, totally. And I'm all men here, fellas. I don't agree about the, uh, what's her name on E? That the she's a real. Reference. Uh, uh, she's disgusting. But Golden Girls? It's already Stop underrated, it. dude, as far as the writing well, was really written. Great, it, was right, great. it was the same friggin' show. Every goddamn week. No. I mean, when you look at the writing of, like, like friends, I mean, it, it's all cutesy. At least they had mean lines to each other. They I would think. try to shock each other with the sexual innuendo. Oh, this, the, that's the show. Yeah. Wait a minute. Okay. I got confused for a second. <laughs> We're like Three's Company. Hey, listen, what's up with that morning show with this guy with the froggy voice from, uh, you know, way back in the day? Scott. That's got to go, bro. Oh, Scotty? No, no, he's terrible, man. The morning sports guy show? Holy, you know what? We, uh, I like the guy. Yeah. Oh, man. His well, voice is cool, man. You got to check yeah. him out. Our new morning show, you got to check him out because he will blow himself up eventually. Uh, I'm telling you, his head sounds like it's going to explode right off his shoulders. My freaking throat hurts after listening to him. He's 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 a talented uh, he's a talented guy there. I'm not doubt about the fact that he knows his business, but his voice is grating. That's what's great. You don't know when it's going to go. Yeah, I'll tell you, I'm not a sports fan. O and A, I'm not a sports fan, but I listen to that show for hours because of him. There you go. That's a good thing. <laughs> that is a good thing. We need some ratings around here. Hey, no doubt, man. I love the station. I love all the talk stuff, man. All right, Glenn. Thank you. All right. Later, boys. All right, Can I clarify real quick? I also, my favorite <laughs> right. sitcom is probably Taxi, All in the Family. I mean, I don't, I don't just watch. All right. Uh, Taxi, Honey all right. was brilliant. Oh, of course. Um, Seinfeld, I was never a particular no? watcher of. I didn't watch it. I like uh, uh, the Seinfeld. Yeah, it was good, but I didn't watch it. You guys are really yeah. killing me. Scott, what's up? Guy, what is this? The view I'm listening to? <laughs> Jesus Christ. The view? <laughs> the three of you are tools today. I mean, no, I feel not tools today. What is going on with you guys? And at this point, we're just saying things we like. I like milk. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, hey, uh, enjoy the Simpsons. <laughs> Who cares? You yeah. like Seinfeld or didn't like it? You're right. You're right. Cereal's he's good. He's trying. Right. You know what he's I doing? I like Captain Crunch in the morning. How about you, Jim? He's hey, trying yo. to justify right. by right. saying these things that he likes. He's covering. To make up for on Golden Pond and Golden Girls. I'm hey, oh, one more I thing balance. before I go, guys. Yeah. You uh, oh, you better, oh, you better look out. Rick might try to steal your, uh, your girlfriend out of there. Later, geek. All right. Bye. That's You're right, nobody enough. cares. I hope you had a good point. It's like, cares, um, I, I well, we're just starting to list mm. things we like. Jim yeah. Norton from Bizarro Planet. Yeah, Trisha's saying, I want the old Norton back. Golden Girls? This is, it's the same this thing. This is the last we call, and then we'll move on Pull here. the curtain back. Trisha, what's up? Uh, this is absolutely disgusting. I listen to you guys every day on my way to work, and I want the old Norton back. Trisha, I have gross. I can understand Joan Rivers, Norton? Golden Girls. Norton Come is... on, it's like a geriatric sex in the city. Trisha, you don't need to hear that on the way. Trisha, 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 I haven't changed. I'm Believe me, if I'm hanging out with you and you pass out, I'm banging you. I'm not <laughs> any different than I was I just want the Golden Girls on while I do yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, I appreciate that, but come on. We need, some, we need some crudity. I'm on my way to work. I need to hear some nasty stuff on the radio. All right, wow, you Thank dirty you, girl. Nice. <laughs> I like a dirty <laughs> bitch <laughs> like that. Ain't yeah, that nice? Yeah. Yeah. Norton just wants more girls to love him. No, right. no. The type of the girl, oh, no, no, on the face. On the face. <laughs> That's the type of gal I need. <laughs> that gal's a go getter. <laughs> <Any of that>. <laughs> 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 Why? <laughs> All right, well, wasn't that episode 56 of uh, Golden Girls where yeah. Rue McClenahan takes a mouthful? From Stan, the ex-husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, man, we got to take a break. Uh, OB, Resident, and Anthony. Wait two minutes. We'll say something really dumb. Let's bring in the incest couch.